<laughs> ah, Hugo. Oh, hello, Rowley. What are you doing, Hugo? I'm just going to have my nap. What are you doing, Rowley? Oh, I'm just reading my book. Oh, can I have a story before my nap? Of course you can, Hugo. Story time with Rowley Moe, my favourite time of day. So, are you sitting comfortably? Yes. Good. Then I'll begin. Once upon a time, there lived a shoemaker who was very poor. One night, he said to his wife, Here is the leather for one last pair of shoes. Tomorrow I will make them, and then we must shut up the shop. They went to bed very sadly. But next morning, there was a beautiful pair of shoes. Look at those tiny stitches, said the shoemaker. Who could have made them? I don't know, said his wife. But put the shoes in the window quick. Someone is sure to want to buy them. And they did. They paid so much money for them, the shoemaker bought enough leather for two more pairs of shoes. That night, he cut out the pieces, and next morning, there were two beautiful pairs of shoes. Soon he had sold so many shoes, they became very rich. But who was making them? One night, they hid in the shop to find out, and at midnight, in came two little elves. They hopped up onto the bench and sang and stitched until they had made two pairs of shoes. Then they danced out. Well, said the shoemaker, two little elves. And what's more, said his wife, those little elves didn't have any clothes. I'm going to make them some and you must make them some shoes. So the next night they laid out some tiny clothes and two tiny, tiny pairs of shoes. Oh, how surprised the elves were! They put on the clothes and danced all round the shop. Then they danced out of the door and were never seen again. But the shoemaker and his wife never forgot how the kind elves had helped them. Oh dear! <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed the story. It's time for us to go now, but you will come and find us again next time, won't you? Now, Roly Mo is going to say... Cheerio! Yes, cheerio!